What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video and in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about the coin shop and actually talking about things that are worth actually picking up in it and kind of discussing what's the best in terms of value for what you're buying. So let's hop into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 25k subscribers man. At the time recording this video, I'm at 22,600 subscribers. Actually, you guys have been going insane man lately on the channel, so you know, it means a lot. But with that out of the way, let's hop into the video. Alright guys, so we're going to be going over the event coin shop and then the regular coin shop and talking about things that are actually worth picking up in terms of the coin shop itself. So let's first talk about the limited time sale and then the event sale as well. So for the limited time sale, these are going to be coin shop characters from, uh, you know, a while back now, like in terms of uh, when they released. And a lot of these characters in the limited time sale are just not worth it anymore, man. Um, there isn't really any character in these pools that are just worth picking up to the, to the point where like you would need them necessarily. A a lot of these characters have either fallen off or there's a better version of that character that's already like you know replaced them so uh in terms of the limited time sale uh even if it's your first copy of the character i would not say it's worth it even at five coins for like a sin it's still not worth it seven coins for a commandment is definitely not worth it nowadays in terms of you know super awakening being a thing so in terms of the limited time sale always skip out on it guys it's never going to be worth it so uh, i highly advise just not uh picking up any characters from that all right, for the event sale here, the only time you guys should be buying dupes for festival characters um, is if you have the festivals uh, already six out of six when picking up the, the copies, basically, you know. Um, a lot of people say, you know, amazing, that's like a whale thing to do, right? Obviously, you, or you're only going to have six out of six copies if they're whaled out. But the thing is, man, you don't want to be exchanging dupes of a festival if you don't already have them six out of six because you're making them worse uh, for your account long term. If you have a festival already and you haven't fed the dupes like a lot of people ask me like amazing do i feed the one s nor or do i use the coins in exchange for another festival you should feed the one s nor the one s nor is one of the uh better pve characters in the game nowadays like even though he used to be so dominant in pvp and stuff he's fallen off but he's still a really strong pve unit at six out of six so if you're missing dupes on you know specific festival characters it can definitely be worth it and you know in my opinion i would say to always feed the dupes first and then once you have like an uh, extra dupes let's say then you can start using the copies to actually exchange for another character like i could just start exchanging you know what i mean so eventually what it comes down to also is like if you're also going to use the character or not like a character like lost vein meliotis if you somehow had a coin for him you're probably not going to use lost vein meliotis so i mean at that point if you do want to use it to exchange that is your call but i would personally feed the dupes first and then once you get the character six out of six then you can use them on the event sale in exchange for a festival you are missing or need dupes for all right and then for the uh, ur pendant right here this is definitely not worth two festival coins guys do not exchange for this this is not worth it because they're basically valuing three ssr pendants for one festival coin which is definitely not worth it uh considering the rates it is to pull a festival in grand cross definitely not worth picking this up so i would highly advise from uh picking this ur pendant up do not buy the ur pendant the next thing we have here is going to be these items right here which actually come with the event for the 10 days so the uh magnificence of valhalla and the sublimity of valkyries these are actually not worth picking up and the reason i say this is because it costs three gold coins per one so for you to get 20 of them it would cost you 60 gold coins that is a lot guys that is a lot and 20 by the way just to give you guys an idea 20 is not enough to make a holy relic like if i was to go to um a character that i don't have a holy relic for so i have to pull up uh liz hawk so liz hawk here if, if she's a deer relic by the way so if i want to make her holy relic i'm actually going to need 30 of the sublimities of valkyries anyway to actually make it so i'm not able to actually make this even if i like let's say i started with zero and i got the 20 i still wouldn't be i still wouldn't have enough to make it you know at the end of the day what it comes down to in my opinion is just clearing the deer or clearing the board uh the bird and if you farmed it enough in terms of the magnificent of Valhalla or the sublimity uh, of Valkyries you'll have enough then um, just by farming let's say to actually get enough to craft the holy relic so this is just in general by the way like I'm not saying like you know go farm the deer to go get it done because um, deer right now like you know is way too uh, you know um, RNG heavy to really farm um, and also you can't get a uh, river sources guaranteed on global yet but you know over time it eventually will become a little bit easier with uh, new unit releases and with that being the case it'll be a lot easier to get 
these this is kind of just like a waste of gold coins in my opinion because 60 gold coins for only 20 men that's not even one holy relic right so uh in my opinion guys skip out on these do not buy these save your gold coins for other things which i'll actually talk about a little bit later in the video um but yeah that's not gonna be worthwhile in terms of picking up any event item down here guys is usually a skip as well in terms of picking up because they're they're put in here they're mainly put in here for you guys to like clear the events quicker and get the materials done quicker um but in my opinion if you guys want to you know take advantage of the events get the events done normally and you don't actually even need to pick these up at all um you can completely skip out on this part of the event shop um there's nothing really here is worth it in my opinion unless you are trying to speed run an event uh other than that it's definitely not worth picking up and i would highly advise just skipping out all right so now we're actually moving to the regular coin shop here let's actually talk about it so in terms of the festival coin exchange on the regular coin shop nothing here is worth picking up and you guys can uh, kind of get an idea of about it right seven essay coins for one festival coin not worth it man because that's only a little bit more than two coins basically like if you had two ssr coins regular two ssr coins you would basically make up the amount you're getting for one festival coin so it's not worth it man so literally off the rip do not exchange it for the essay coins do not exchange it for the time limit dungeon keys it's not worth it do not exchange it for the training dungeon grotto key um and the wind sources especially do not exchange it that is a waste of, of uh, festival coins when wind sources are farmable there is no need to exchange it for wind sources if they had the brand new one in the shop you could make the argument if they had the skull and haughty one but they don't they have wind sources from the birds so it's definitely not worth picking up highly advise skipping out on this and uh yeah so that's going to be the festival coin shop Moving into the Platinum Coin Shop, nothing really in the Platinum Coin Shop, I would say, is worth it in my opinion. Um, a lot of the uh, Coin Shop characters here, these are the regular ones, and these are regular prices as well. 10 SSR coins for one uh you know commandment character definitely not worth picking up man and then even like these like a tier three awaken two it's not even a uh you know a tier five like that's a scam two three uh regular coins for one uh ssr ticket you could make the case it's worth it especially if there's like an event going on with where it's like the wish rate up uh but other than that definitely not worth it and then the ssr uh pendant for one coin is not worth it either man that is also a scam as well so a lot of the things here in the shop guys you can kind of see like the platinum coin shop is just a scam nothing really here is worth picking up honestly in terms of coins um you can use your coins on a lot better things you have either essay or even feeding the dupes um a lot of that is always going to be better really than picking up like a copy of a character through the coin shop especially these characters nowadays uh yeah like they're a lot like they're basically a falling off at this point man so uh that's going to be the platinum coin shop moving into the gold coin shop here the one thing i would recommend is worth picking up it's actually going to be the clocks or the, you know, um, I, I forget what people call it, like the slates, whatever. Um, these things are really worth picking up because there's no way of actually acquiring specifically the orange one. The orange one actually cannot be farmed. So at the moment, right, I think Skull and Hottie, I think the new demonic piece does have it. Uh, but at this very moment, this one cannot be uh, gotten unless you exchange it in the World Tree Shop. And so what I like to do every week, um, and it's up to you guys, um, but if you do like getting uh, Holy Relics on your account and you do want to have mats for it, um this is gonna be a good way to actually get because you get 30 of each um right because you get only 15 uh per week so you get 15 but it's two so you get 30 so for 15 gold coins you get 30 of these 15 you get another 30 so you get 60 for 30 gold coins which if you guys are comparing it to this right th that's a lot better than exchanging for these because at least with this this is giving you um you know it's only one third uh, of a holy relic basically like because you only get 30 out of 80 but it still helps you a lot, especially when you're exchanging in the World Tree Shop as well. So, like, if I go to the World Tree Shop um, and I actually exchange, like, if you go to, I think it's the Memory of Heavens, um, you can see that there's a, per a periodic count of five. So, if you wanted to make a Holy Relic for a character, you could get five of these, which is going to be 50, plus the 30 from the Coin Shop, and you could actually make a Holy Relic for a character. So, uh, in my opinion, guys, it's definitely worth picking those up specifically because there's no real way of actually uh, getting them. These ones are farmable from the deer uh these uh yellow ones right here so you can technically farm these so you don't necessarily need to pick these up um uh, but definitely these ones if you are low um the broker strength is actually going to be a good pickup just because they're not farmable at the moment and you can only exchange them from the world tree shop or this coin shop right here everything else in this coin shop guys is not really going to be worth it i mean you could make the argument for the ssr pendants but i would honestly say it's not worth it 10 ssr pendants uh, or, or 10 uh gold coins for one ssr pendant is honestly just not worth it you know in terms of the conversion rate 
right i'd say just skip out on everything else in this part of the coin shop the rest of the gold coin shop is going to be a skip in the silver coin shop guys this is going to be the pretty like this is pre a pretty easy one right um obviously your daily free you're always going to be picking that up um and the only other thing you're going to be buying in this shop is going to be the stamina pot with your r coin so one r coin is equivalent to one stamina pot so that means you're basically able to farm almost infinitely in grand cross as long as you you know you're only using your r coins on the stamina pots here um you know if you really are down bad on ssr pendants you can get event dungeon keys if you have a lot of these r coins it is uh you know an option but i would say overall do not pick up any of that your main incentive is actually going to be uh getting the you know the uh stamina pots here a lot of people also like to pick up tickets here which i don't think it's worth it 20 uh you know our coins are just two multis worth of characters basically you're saying is worth one ticket definitely not and that's if you get two full dead multis by the way so in my opinion these tickets are not worth it um with the chance of you getting the character you want it's definitely not going to be worth it because it's only a six percent chance on an ssr on these tickets so overall the only things you guys should be buying from this shop is going to be the stamina pots and then your daily free ssr chest the final area of the coin shop is going to be the friendship coin shop guys and in this area it's fairly simple if you have 20 of uh, or not 20,000, uh, 2,000 friendship coins. You can pick up an event dungeon key. If you are low on stamina pots, you can also pick up stamina pots as well. Um, but the main incentives I would say are going to be um, your PvP tickets if you do play PvP, um, your stamina pots, or it's going to be your event dungeon key depending on what you need. So if you are playing PvP, you're going to pick up these. If you are running low on stamina pots, you'll pick up these. And then if you want more SSR pendants, you can pick up the evolution uh, event dungeon key. All right, guys, so that's going to be everything you guys need to know about the coin shop that's going to be the whole run down there i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day